Hello and welcome to Tech Slice. Today I'll be telling you five quirks with my new camera, the Panasonic Lumix G7. So let's get started. Now kicking it off with number one, we have the fully manual flash. Now my old camera, the Canon 550D, and I think most cameras, if the camera detects that um, the flash is needed, then the camera will automatically pop up the flash. However, this isn't the case with the G7. It is fully um, manual mechanical system, so if the camera should require the flash, then it'll pop up a thing on the screen saying, please use the flash. Um, you can decide whether you want to use it or not. So, a bit of a weird quirk there, I'm not used to that, but it also can be nice having the camera not automatically decide you need the flash and pop it up. Coming in at number two, again on the topic of the camera flash, the camera will not shut off if the flash is up. So say you've been out shooting night time, whatever, you've had the flash up, you go turn off the camera and go please close the flash and won't actually turn off until you close the flash. Now that could be annoying for some if you're on the go and you just quickly chuck in a bag and forget to close it and it drains some of the battery but I don't think it drains that much and it isn't too bad if you've got a spare battery or out for a bit. Now number three, little plastic cover over one of my lenses. So I'm not sure if this is on most Panasonic lenses, however on my flat 25 I'm currently using, there is this plastic cover over where the lens would normally screws in. So this cover just screws in like that. I think it is to make it look nicer. I'm not quite sure. Leave a comment down in the description below if you know any more than I do. Um, so yeah, definitely a weird little quirk that I'm seen four normally that just exposed like my 14 to 42 just exposed like that and you put the lens hood on yeah so jumping into number four is one I accidentally worked out when I was out shooting if you're looking through the digital viewfinder um, the touch the display the main touch screen display turns off automatically like with most cameras, um, but the touchscreen part still works for focusing. So if you're looking through it, you can use your finger to move where you want to focus um, instead of having to bring the camera out, touch where you want to focus and bring it back to your eye. So that makes life a lot, well, doesn't make life a lot easier, but it makes it a lot easier shooting um, with the camera. Um, but however, it doesn't work to go into any of the menus or anything. You still have to use the controls or come out and do it on the main display. Um, so yeah. Now, last but not least, number five. There's another one to do with the lens. It is focus ring. So with my 14 to 42, and I'm pretty sure every lens out on the market, you have a focus ring. Now my previous camera, like I said, the Canon 550D, the focus rings are mechanical. So if you're doing that, it will move without it being attached. The camera will focus without it being attached. However, on the G7, if you do, if you um, move the ring while it's on the camera um, in the two auto focus modes, nothing will happen. Absolutely zero. You actually have to switch it on the dial switch to menu focus and then moving the dial will actually do something. So it was very weird changing from my old camera coming out to um, G7 when I go to do the manual focus ring, nothing would happen. So yeah. Anyway, there you have it. Five quirks um, with my new camera, the Panasonic Lumix G7. So guys, thanks for watching, like, subscribe, do all that good stuff and I'll see you next one. Bye.